family. This is Lions in with another news and commentary. School superintendent criticized quarterback Deshaun Watson, Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. Quote, you can't count on a black quarterback. The superintendent of a small town school district north of Lake Livingston is in hot water after his social media post questioned the ability of Texas quarterback Deshaun Watson being because he was black. Lynn Reddick, the superintendent of on Alaska School District posted on the Houston Chronicle Facebook page, you can't you can't count on a black quarterback. Refer, referencing in the final seconds of the Texans' loss to Tennessee, in which Watson held on the ball, Redding posted, that may have been in the most inept quarterback decision I've seen in the NFL. And when you need precision decision, making you can't count on black quarterback. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. All new this afternoon, the on Alaska ISD superintendent getting some pretty big backlash over comments he made on Facebook. Lynn Redden oversees that school district located about 90 miles north of Houston. That's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Maya Shea with all the details on this one. Maya? Well, it's the Facebook post that's got on Alaska. This is the elementary school right behind me. So it's a pretty small school district. It's got on Alaska ISD superintendent in hot water. And it's all over his Facebook comment that questions the quality of play of African-American quarterbacks. We want to take a look at this post. Now, Superintendent Lynn Redden wrote it in a response to another fan who was poking fun at the Texans on the Houston Chronicles Facebook page yesterday. In the post, the superintendent said in part, when you need precision decision making, you can't count on a black quarterback. As you can imagine, that post quickly spread throughout this small community. It's also made national news. But here in Alaska, the school board announced a special meeting to talk about the superintendent's contract coming up this Saturday morning. And parents waiting to pick up the kids had a lot to say. I don't think he's in the position he's in thinking like that. That's that's horrible. Me, myself, being a uh, police officer and a firefighter, it's it's horrible. But there are some differing opinions. An elected official in this town coming to the defense of the superintendent. You'll hear that on Eyewitness News at 6. And yes, we did try to talk to the superintendent and about every school board member. Uh, not much to be found there, but we'll find out more coming up this weekend. For now, we're live in Onalaska. Maya Shea, 13 Eyewitness News. <laughs> Okay, people, now you saw the video. Um, quick reminder onto a lot of people's minds. A lot of Some people are going to defend this and say, well, it's free speech. The superintendent has a right to say it. But the thing of it is, is that, you, in, other, in other words, it's okay, what, what if it's Tom Brady they did the same thing? Uh, what if it's um, Aaron Rodgers that do the same thing with the, with the quarterbacks? Are, are, is, is the superintendent can say the same thing? Well, he's too. In, we, we can't depend on a white quarterback. See, see, this is what I'm saying. That the, the NFL, obviously, that guys like the school superintendent. I mean, people talk about this. Well, this is the free speech, but at the same time, the school superintendent shouldn't say anything like that as inappropriate, especially if he's a school superintendent. Now, what I'm trying to say is this: that so, he, just because he's a black quarterback, and he, and you you, you have you basically can say anything about him racially. Now people will say, well, uh, I don't see nothing wrong with what he said, and 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 even if he said it, it's still free speech. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. The thing is, the difference between white quarterbacks and black quarterbacks is that white quarterbacks already got are they already. Um, in, in, in the league. They're going to be in the league a lot longer than black quarterbacks. And you got black quarterbacks like Deshaun Watson, um, you, um, Cowboys quarterback, or kind of a Dak Prescott. You got all these black quarterbacks that still try to prove themselves. And and all of a sudden, you're going to shut them down because they will have one bad play and, and everything else. So I guess the school superintendent is a Texans fan. But at the end of the day, yes, there's, there's going to be some people going to say, well, you know, this is free speech and he would have the right to say what they want to say. But then on this other side, they said this is outrageous. This is racially overtoned. This racial, um, what he said was basically racist. 
And it is, it's going to continue going back and forth through social media. People have different opinions on the situation. Well, should he say what he said? No. Is it free speech? Mm, yeah, so, sort of. But when you go through... We go through the steps of being an NFL quarterback. You know, you're going to be having some you know, people going to talk down on you and everything else. But if you're a black quarterback, that's even worse. So, people, like I said before, the school superintendent, I don't think nothing's going to happen to him. Um, people going, the people are still going to say that what he said is offended. Probably might tell them to step down or, you know, he need to be fired for all this, you know, comments. But realistically, I don't think nothing's going to happen to the school superintendent. You know, he made a statement. He made it through social media. And whether you like it or not, at the end of the day, I may not like it. Some of you guys may not like it. But at the end of the day, this, to them, it's still free speech. But he should have handled it. Of, I mean, if he feel about Deshaun Watson, he should have said these words carefully. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Share this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reaction channel. And subscribe my Black Junction channel for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.